He's better than Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao blew like that. The monster continued his climb up the mythical all-time list with yet another see it to believe it performance. The monster is the monster, and he's the monster for a reason. With a pulverizing eighth round TKO of Stephen Fulton, he captured the WBC and WBO junior featherweight titles in just 25 fights, spread across four weight divisions. Outclassed an undefeated American champion, took that boy to school. It is possible Inoue could become a five weight world champion, maybe even a six or a seven. He's 30. I, my, the way I see it, he got five more years before he starts to decline. But can now Inoue beat Manny Pacquiao eight division world title record? In his prime, Pacquiao displayed exceptional speed, footwork, and a relentless offensive style. He overwhelmed opponents with lightning-fast combinations and had the ability to move in and out of range quickly. I'm always trying my best in the ring, you know, to give more impression to the people. On the other hand, now Inoue possesses tremendous power, technical skill, and a high knockout percentage. His aggressive style combined with precise punching accuracy has made him a force to be reckoned with. I haven't seen that speed and that power since Manny Pacquiao. In a hypothetical matchup between these two fighters, we would likely witness an exhilarating bout. He's more technical, I believe, than Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao started his professional boxing career when he was just 16 years old, weighed only 98 pounds which was 7 pounds lesser than the minimum qualification for the light flyweight category. He had everything, I just, I was amazed at the speed and power together. Soon Manny's weight increased to 110 and he participated in the flyweight category, knocking out Thailand's Cha Chai Sasako to capture the WBC flyweight title. Inoue started at light flyweight, becoming first Japanese boxer to claim a world title in just his sixth professional fight, beating WBC light flyweight champion Adrian Hernandez. Pacquiao gained weight and skipped the super flyweight and bantamweight divisions. This time, Pacquiao went to super bantamweight division of 122 pounds, where he picked up the IBF super bantamweight title. He had no idea. Pacquiao's career was marked by a rapid rise through the ranks from 2003, as he quickly established himself as a formidable fighter. We like each other. That's, 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 that's the beginning. Over the next several years, Pacquiao engaged in a series of high-profile fights, beating Barrera, Morales, Marquez, De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto. That win was able to catapult Manny Pacquiao into, into New Heights. Pacquiao became an 8th Division World Champion after he defeated Antonio Margarito in 2010. All of us, we can do. We can do if we have a dream. In November 2014, Inoue knocked out WBO Junior Bantamweight title holder Omar Narvaez. Inoue took the WBA Bantamweight title in May 2018, the IBF title in May 2019, the WBC title in June 2022, winning all championship fights by knockout. Basically, it proves that I'm the best in that weight class, the Bantamweight. And to prove that, that's why I'm going after all four belts. Monster became the first undisputed Bantamweight champion in 50 years when he took the WBO title off Britain's Paul Butler. I finally became the undisputed and the abandoned world champion. Thank you very much. With a pulverizing eighth round TKO of Stephen Fulton, he captured the WBC and WBO junior featherweight titles in just 25 fights, spread across four weight divisions. In July 2019, Pacquiao became the oldest welterweight world champion in history at the age of 40, and the first boxer to become a recognized four-time welterweight champion after defeating Keith Thurman to win the WBA welterweight title. The ageless wonder, the one and only. Pacquiao also holds the record of being the only boxer to hold world titles in four different decades, in the 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. And he's generating excitement not seen in the ring since Mike Tyson. Sugar Ray Leonard or Muhammad Ali. Pacquiao is one of the most beloved fighters in the history of the sport, especially in his native Philippines, where millions of Filipino supporters follow his every move. 
On the other hand, Inoue is a megastar in Japan, his home country, where his image adorns billboards and features on mainstream TV shows. It's a gift from God. A fantasy boxing fight between Manny Pacquiao and Naoya Inoue would undoubtedly be an exhilarating matchup. It's easy to compare Inoue to Pacquiao because, you know, they're both Asian and both are power punchers. The clash of styles, skills, and accomplishments of these two legends would make for an unforgettable matchup, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. While both share a passion for boxing, there are notable similarities and differences in their skills, techniques and size. In terms of height and reach, Pacquiao and Inoue, who both brought pride to Asians, aren't that far from each other. They're both 5'5", same reach 67 inches. Both Pacquiao and Inoue possess exceptional footwork, allowing them to swiftly move around the ring and maintain proper positioning. Both have very fast feet, move in and out very quickly. Their ability to pivot, sidestep, and change directions quickly gives them an advantage in evading punches and creating angles for effective attacks. Speed is a remarkable attribute shared by both fighters. Pacquiao is primarily known for his explosive, high-volume punching style. He often employs a combination of hooks, uppercuts, and straight punches to overwhelm his opponents. My job is to entertain people and I want them to, to make happy. In contrast, Inoue is recognized for his power punching style, relying on devastating hooks and body shoots to deliver knockout blows. But that power comes someplace from deep inside. Inoue's jab is also a key weapon in his arsenal, as he uses it to maintain distance and set up his power punches. Everything he throws is designed to land. Inoue is a master at cutting off the ring and forcing his opponents into corners, where he can unleash his devastating combinations. Additionally, Pacquiao is known for his versatility and ability to switch between different boxing styles. He is the pound-for-pound pound champion. He has inducted anybody. Throughout his career, he has shown proficiency in various techniques, including boxing from the outside, counterpunching, and aggressive brawling. Power of Pacquiao may neutralize all of that. This adaptability has allowed him to overcome different opponents with diverse styles. On the other hand, Inoue is highly regarded for his relentless aggression. He consistently puts pressure on his opponents, throwing powerful combinations and looking for opportunities to finish the fight. Explosive, exciting type of style, Inoue possesses that. Manny was really good at lighter weights, but crucially, his prime came in from 2008 to 2010 when he defeated De La Hoya, Hatton, and Koto. The greatest Asian fighter ever, the greatest left-handed fighter ever. Record-wise, 30-year-old Inoue is still undefeated in his 11-year career with a clean record of 25-0, with 22 knockouts. He'll be the most famous fighter ever if he continues the win. The 44-year-old Pacquiao, who has been in the sport for more than two decades now, has a 62-8 and with two draws, slate with 39 KOs. Two decades and, and winning titles in eight weight classes has faced the best of the bet. In conclusion, a fantasy boxing fight between Manny Pacquiao and Naoya Inoue would undoubtedly be a thrilling encounter for boxing fans worldwide. Leave a lasting legacy like Manny Pacquiao, he should be an example because I don't think we're going to have another one like him. The clash of styles, speed, power, and experience of these two legends would make for an unforgettable and highly competitive fight.